ओ माई गॉड ओनली फ्यूर इज लेफ फॉर दुर्गा पूजा एंड स्टार्ट माई शॉपिंग एट वॉट टू डू दिस हैज बिन सिचुएशन ऑफ मोस्ट ऑफ अस बट विद दिस वीडियो यू विल बी आउट ऑफ दिस रट वेरी इजिली ड्यूरिंग दुर्गा पूजा शॉपिंग और एनी फेस्टिव शॉपिंग वी स्पेंड माइंडलेसली ड्यू टू शॉर्ट ऑफ टाइम समटाइम्स वी लूज आर एनर्जी समटाइम्स वी आर कन्फ्यूज मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम्स वी आर कन्फ्यूज वॉट टू बाई वॉट नॉट टू बाई and it becomes a mess in a nutshell growing up in a middle class family we have seen lots of things that is going to rescue you from this mess no more get keeping i'm really really sorry to make you wait so without wasting any more time let's begin oops i just forgot my intro hi guys my name is reshtha kundu welcome or welcome back to my channel and now watch that's that's enough Point number one is most important. Before begin everything, you have to note down this point. You have to count all the festivities we have, plus we the all the outfits we actually require throughout the festivities. So far we have Durga Puja, Lokhi Puja, Kali Puja, or Diwali, or Bhai Pota, or Bhai Dooj, and then we have Christmas. But Christmas is on December, so it's quite far away. So we don't need to, you know. we put all our energy for christmas because by that time we will have lots of outfits sometimes we buy lots of items that is actually not required for the festive season or we already have it in our wardrobe so if we count the festivities and the count the outfit first so that it will help us it will make our work easier and uh, we will shop accordingly but what to wear in durga puja or in kali puja every single year this question pops up in our mind and due to short of time we spend mindlessly on different colors different outfits or different patterns uh, of outfit which we are actually not comfortable with or some uh, we spend on some colors that we actually don't like on ourselves so my suggestion would be make a theme palette or make a vision board just like you make a vision board for your manifestation journey like a manifestation journey this will help you out to have an idea of what you actually want to wear in durga puja what kind of outfits you actually want this could be saree there could be salwar there could be skirt or palazzo or sharara anything punjabi anything you want you will have in your mind and note it down the main point is note it down just give half an hour of your time and you will be through now comes one of the important parts list of the required pieces to save more money and time note down or write it down again to all the required pieces to build an outfit sometimes we already have the necessary items in our wardrobe but to do things hurriedly we tend to shop the same pieces again if we note down every single thing the chance of spending more will be less most importantly measure the weight of your wallet guys by that i mean check your fund to amend all these expenses you must have a liquid fund or emergency fund particularly for durga puja or festive season no we don't have much time left for the festive season but keep this in mind for every year first have a fair idea on how much it takes to buy certain pieces and keep a certain amount for the particular items that's how you can track all your spendings after the shopping check the difference between the emergency fund and the actual expenses you had that's how you can have a fair idea generally how much you have to save each year although we have few days left but this video will help you out for ever to keep things for last moment then you will end up exhausting too much of money people who are always on the go they must have a reminder to the calendar so that they have enough time to plan everything now you have a plan drafted you are not in confusion and you are all set to stay up for pujo shopping and voila you saved money time and energy these are the few basic points i actually wanted to share with you guys actually growing up in a middle class family we have seen our parents to make budget for every 
thing to make budget for Durga Puja before any occasion, before any party, they make a list of the, the required items or the actual amount they have to spend or what the actual fund they have and this is passed on to us. I hope you note down every poem so that you can share with your family, your friends or you can pass it uh, on to as well. So yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope you liked it. If you enjoyed this, please give, give the thumbs up and subscribe my channel. I will appreciate it a lot. And yeah, uh, see you in the next video. Till then, stay tuned, stay healthy and live gorgeously.